What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. A great monitor can elevate your gaming experience, but a fast gaming monitor can give you the dose of clarity you need to land a win. A 240Hz monitor delivers a sports grade speed so you can see every little indicator of your opponent's next move. We've gathered the top choices, whether you're looking for a competitive monitor on a budget, or simply the best of the best. So be sure to stay till the end, so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tell us your opinion in the comments section. Now, let's get started. The first monitor on our list is Alienware AW2521HF. Want a superb yet affordable 240Hz monitor for competitive gaming? Just buy the Alienware AW2521HF. It's it simple, of course. The best 240Hz gaming monitor offers silky smooth gameplay, but what makes the AW2521HF stand out though is its image quality. This monitor has great color accuracy, a pleasing color gamut, and a high maximum brightness. Colorful games look vivid and punchy on this monitor, which is good because most competitive games skew towards a colorful presentation. Contrast is mediocre but solid for a 240Hz monitor. It also has good response times for excellent motion clarity and fast moving scenes. You'll need to upgrade to 360Hz to beat this Alienware by a significant margin, and even then the difference is small. The monitor also delivers an attractive design and excellent build quality. The height adjustable stand is among the best on any 24.5 inches monitor. However, because this is no longer Alienware's flagship, that honor goes to a newer 360Hz model, pricing is affordable. You can often find this monitor for $300 or less. The next monitor on our list is Dell S2522HG. The Dell S2522HG is at the bleeding edge of a new breed of budget 240Hz displays that have just hit the market. Though it carries an MSRP above $300 this model is commonly available online for around $250. Despite this, the S2522HG offers a great experience for competitive gamers. It has official AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility. This, along with the refresh rate, provides a smooth gaming experience with solid motion clarity. Image quality is less impressive and this is where the monitor compromises to hit a low price. The monitor's color performance is okay, and brightness is never an issue, but it's clear this monitor cuts costs by relying on a SoSo IPS panel. The contrast is not great and dark scenes look very hazy. The S2522 HD looks and feels more robust than some more expensive competitors, like LG's Ultra Gear line, and provides a sturdy height adjustable stand. It also has multiple USB ports for connecting wired gaming peripherals. The next monitor on our list is Asus Tough Gaming VG259QM. The Asus Tough Gaming VG259QM offers an outstanding balance of price to performance for a 24 inches 240Hz display. It features a bright IPS panel that's largely color accurate out of the box. What really makes it shine, however, is its ability to overclock all the way to 280Hz. If the idea of overclocking makes you nervous, don't be. All you need to do is select max refresh rate in the OSD and it becomes another refresh rate option in Windows. Once enabled, it even supports FreeSync and G-Sync all the way to 280Hz, so you won't need to sacrifice smoothness for speed. With a peak brightness of 400 nits and display HDR400 certification, the VG259QM lacks local dimming and is limited to 8-bit color, so you won't get the dynamic range of brighter, more colorful panels. Taking it in is easy though, due to its highly adjustable stand that can even pivot to portrait orientation. This monitor suffers the same shortcomings as most other IPS panels, a low contrast ratio and IPS glow. In bright rooms, this isn't a big issue. But if you enjoy gaming in the dark, you'll notice that blacks tend to look more washed out than competing VA panels. It also only covers 99% of the sRGB color space while others on this list reach to 100% or higher, but these are small handicaps for this otherwise great display. The next monitor on our list is Alienware AW2721D. The Alienware AW2721D was among the first 27 inches 1440 pixel gaming monitors and it remains part of a rare breed. Most 240Hz gaming monitors of this size have 1080 pixel resolution. They're less expensive but severely lack sharpness. The AW2721D is crystal clear by comparison. Motion performance is excellent. The combination of a 240Hz refresh rate, G-Sync Ultimate, and a quality IPS panel provides crisp motion in the most demanding games. You'll find it hard to go back to 144Hz once you see this monitor in action. It's also an attractive, luxurious monitor. The height adjustable stand is among the best in the business. Four USB ports provide options for connecting wired peripherals. None of this comes cheap. At $699 the AW2721D is expensive for a display of its size. However, the monitor is actually more affordable than most of its competition. That makes it easy to recommend. 
The next monitor on our list is Acer Predator XB323U. 32 inches monitors with a 240Hz refresh rate are even less common than 27 inches models, but Acer's Predator XB323U is a great option. The 240Hz refresh rate, which can overclock to 270Hz, is the monitor's headline feature. It provides excellent motion clarity for a 32 inches display. This is thanks to the IPS panel, which doesn't have the dark smear issue that can plague VA panels, which are common in 32 inches displays. Image quality is also excellent thanks to the monitor's wide color gamut and very accurate color. It's VESA Display HDR600 certified, which means HDR games look noticeably more brilliant. The height adjustable stand feels robust and the monitor has a wide variety of connectivity including four USB ports. It's not quite as attractive as Alienware's lineup, but it's competitive. The next monitor on our list is Samsung Odyssey G7 32 inches. The Samsung Odyssey G7 stands out from the competition by combining a high refresh rate with a VA panel. Most monitors avoid this because VA panels have issues with motion. However, Samsung has largely solved that problem. The Odyssey G7 motion clarity is almost as good as IPS panel monitors. The Odyssey G7 has a contrast ratio more than twice that of IPS monitors on this list. The result is a richer, deeper image that excels in dark games like horror games and many action RPGs. This monitor is VESA Display HDR600 certified, which means it can reach a high level of brightness. This combination of high brightness and deep black levels makes the Odyssey G7 a good option for HDR. Acer's 32 inches competitor is as bright but performs worse in dark scenes. Samsung delivers attractive design and a height-adjustable stand. A pair of USB ports are included for wired peripherals. Be warned, however, that the monitor has an aggressive curve. Fans of curved monitors will love it, but it could be too extreme for some. The next monitor on our list is Samsung Odyssey Neo G8. If you're okay to throw down over $1,000 on a 4K monitor, then the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 is for you. You get supreme motion clarity in UHD with a 240Hz refresh rate. The super smooth, stutter-free gameplay is aided by the adaptive sync technology loaded in, and if your PC is packing an AMD GPU, you'll appreciate the FreeSync Premium Pro support. You'll be good to wire up just about any of your devices to the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8, as it totes a display port that supports the 240Hz refresh rate in 4K and two HDMI ports ready to take on your consoles with 4K 120Hz. For other peripherals, you there's two USB ports. The Samsung Odyssey Neo J SVA panel manages a high peak brightness to combat glare, while deep blacks and high contrast ratio help with the impressive HDR performance. And it's rocking HDR 2000. Beyond that, the screen offers solid color accuracy, and a matte finish to prevent glare. Design-wise, Samsung delivers a sleek 32 inches monitor featuring a slight curvature wrapping around your field of vision, immersing you deeper into the action. You also get a height adjustable stand with a swivel and tilt for ideal ergonomic positioning. The next monitor on our list is Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. Samsung's Odyssey Neo G9 is not just an ultra-wide, it's super ultra-wide, this curved monitor is so large it will span most of a 5-foot wide desk. It provides an immersive experience perfect for simulation and racing games. Image quality is excellent. The Odyssey Neo G9 has a VA panel and uses mini-LED backlighting to precisely control brightness across the display. This provides a contrast ratio about 8 times better than a typical 240Hz IPS monitor. The Neo G9 is also a top-tier HDR monitor. Even the quickest high-end video cards will struggle to output 240 frames per second at the monitor's native resolution of 5120 by 1440 However, motion clarity is great if you have the rig to power it. It's not a perfect monitor. The mini-LED backlight causes blooming, a problem that causes a bright halo to appear around bright objects on a dark background. Our review unit was robust, but owners have reported quality control issues. The Odyssey Neo G9 has an MSRP of $2,499 and often sells near that. Most gamers will find that hard to justify. Still, if you want a 240Hz ultra-wide, the Neo G9 is the best option. The next monitor on our list is AOC C27G2Z. The AOC C27G2Z is an affordably excellent choice for gamers on a budget. For its relatively low cost, it offers quite a bit, including a large 27 inches screen with a medium 1500 arc curvature. Its 240Hz refresh rate will see you through even the most intense battles with motion clarity that trumps slower displays, but excellent color coverage and deep contrast make it a good choice for content creators and single player games too. With such a low price, you know some things had to be sacrificed to get those strong core specs. 
In this case, the C27G2Z falls short of every other monitor on this list with a brightness of only 215 nits and 8-bit color, so there's no HDR support here. And though AOC markets this display with a 0.5 milliseconds response time, the testers at Display Ninja and Monitor Nerds both found it gets closer to 3 milliseconds at 240 hertz. This is still fast enough that most players would have trouble seeing a difference, but it's an important point nonetheless. Even with these caveats, it's hard to get over just how much monitor you're getting for the price. A sub $250 monitor that's 27 inches, curved, 240 hertz, sub 5 milliseconds of input delay, and also has a stylish aesthetic. That's a great deal no matter how you look at it. The next monitor on our list is BenQ Zoe XL2546K. The BenQ Zoe XL2546K is built to compete. It strips away the frills to put the focus entirely on speed, clarity, and providing you the edge you need in competitive games. With the TN panel, the monitor is effortlessly fast even without enabling overdrive, and has no traces of ghosting whatsoever. That does come with the usual TN limitations of reduced contrast and color depth. But since this monitor supports importing and exporting picture profiles, you can easily download custom settings for individual games to make the most of its capabilities. A 240Hz TN panel should be enough to give players an edge, but the XL2546K takes it multiple steps further. So is DYAC Plus technology reduces motion blur during shaking animations like firing a gun to maintain your visibility. Motion blur reduction can be found on other gaming monitors, but DYAC Plus stands apart by doing so without reducing your brightness. It's a zero compromise solution. Other competitive high points include a controller that can swap picture profiles on the fly. Pairing this with the display's black equalizer function, you can literally peek into the shadows and pick out enemies with the push of a button. Both sides of the screen feature flap to block out distractions and keep competitors from peeking at your screen, and a smaller than average stand allows you to position your peripherals comfortably, even if you prefer them farther out. The XL2546K doesn't support HDR and has a very peak brightness, so there are meaningful trade-offs here, but there's no mistaking the competitive design it brings to the table. There's a reason the ESL Pro League uses these displays at pro esports events. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and this video helped you out. Don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you later.